Today we're talking about how to import audio in Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you guys have ever wondered how to import audio in Cakewalk, and if you guys have ever wondered how to import it to the session tempo so that it lines up with all your other tracks, I'm going to teach you how to do that in this tutorial. So if you want to learn that, stick around after this introduction. What's going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about how to import audio into Cakewalk by BandLab. So there are two different ways to go about importing audio, and we're going to go over both of them in this tutorial, so by the end of this you will have no issues with that. And I'm also going to show you how Cakewalk automatically syncs up the audio you import to the tempo of your song, which is actually pretty cool. But before we get to all that good stuff, I have a playlist popping up in the top right corner now, well a link to it, that is full of Cakewalk training videos. These videos range from beginner to advanced. So if you guys want to get better at using Cakewalk, definitely check out that playlist after this video. So that being said, let's get into our first way of importing audio, which is doing it through the file menu. All right, so using the file menu to import audio, you're gonna see there's an issue with how things are set up now. So let me show you this. So if you go up to the file menu in the top left, click on that, go down to import, you're going to see, oh, audio is grayed out. I can't import audio. So the question is, why can't I do this? And the reason is because I need an audio track for that audio to go to. It doesn't allow you to just import audio and have it create the audio track while it's importing the audio. Kind of dumb, but that's just how it works. So if I right click here and I create a audio track, then I have it highlighted here. If I go back to file and then I go to import, and I go to audio, it's now active. Click on that. And I don't know, let's see, why don't we just import one of these uh, drum kits in here. So I'll do this one here. All right, so it said the tempo of the drum kit was 120. Now the tempo of my song is 100. So you're gonna see something interesting here. Let me make this bigger. So what actually happened was it actually adjusted all of the transients in here to line up with the tempo of the song, which is really cool. So I had my cursor at measure three initially, and that's where the song starts. And that's where the actual file imported to. So if I actually was to play this for you right now, which I'm going to, the piano and drums are gonna be perfectly in time. So let's give it a listen. All right, so obviously not the right drum track for the piano part I have in there, but that's just an example. As you can see, we simply imported a drum track that was not at all the same tempo as this song, and it is perfectly aligned. And you may ask, well, how did it do that? Well, if we click on the clip here, and we go over to this little uh, properties tab over here, and we go to groove clip, you're gonna see that the loopings tab is checked here. Now this just automatically happens and it kind of gives you some cool information telling you, hey, there's 16 beats in the clip, etc. So if I wanted to revert this back to its original clip, if I de-check looping, you're gonna see it shifted over here. And now it's back to how it really was, okay? So that's kind of how you need to look at this here. If you want to import a clip in your cakewalk, it's going to import to the tempo. I don't know any of other way to stop that from happening, to my knowledge. So if anybody from Cakewalk is watching this, please let me know because I've yet to find in the preferences or anywhere a way to stop it from snapping to the tempo. But it's not that big of a deal because you can simply go into the groove clip, what I just did there, and decheck looping, and it will now be the original clip that you imported in with its original tempo, okay? So that is how you import audio using the file menu method. So let's actually move on to method number two, which is actually simply dragging and dropping the audio file in from your media menu. All 
All right, so import audio from your media menu is super simple. So this is the media menu over here where my mouse is at in the right section of Cakewalk. So there's multiple tabs over here. So you wanna make sure you get media selected. Now, if you do not see this window, it could be closed. So it could look like this and you may not see it. This little arrow right here will open it. If you don't see it at all, you can go up to your views tab here in the top left and make sure that browser is, well, it's not selected, but this will make sure that it's shown if you don't see it, all right? So in our meeting menu here, I'm just gonna go to, I don't know, we'll go to inspirational new age. We'll go to kit and it looks like I got drums one in here. This is also 120, which is different than tempo over song. I will simply just drag this over to here and it is loading in. And it looks like we got a drum track in there. Let's expand it. And let's see. So this one didn't snap right to measure three, which is fine, but it does actually start right on the beat. So we can simply just drag this over to measure three like that. Now, when you're dragging, you wanna make sure you have snap on, so it snaps to the grid. That'll make sure everything is good to go. So now if you listen to this, everything is gonna be perfectly in time. So let's give it a listen. All right, cool. So I feel like that drum beat obviously worked a little bit better than the last one. So that is simply how you import audio using your media menu over there. So I'm gonna give you guys one last bonus way to import audio, which is actually the easiest way to do it. So let's get to that now. All right, so for our bonus way, you can simply open up your file explorer and find whatever file you want to import into Cakewalk and simply just drag it on in. And it's going to import in and look, there it is right there. So that's the easiest way to go about doing it. But, you know, this is a learning channel. I want to show you all the different ways to go about doing it. Plus there was some other cool stuff that hopefully you picked up on in the other ways that we did it. So if you guys like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'll be making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.